So, on to more questions. The Atheist Gal asks, have you designed tats or has your work been one? Neither. Maybe one day I'll design my own tats. And if somebody asked me, I'd do it, but just never have. Rationally Yours asked, if you were on a cruise ship and that ship started to sink and you had the lifeboat, but could only save one fundamentalist from YouTube, which one would it be and why? I'd have to say Yoko. Just to prove to him that atheists can be good people, and uh, it would give me a chance to talk to him while we were stuck on the boat together until we got rescued. Only one provoked asked, if you could move to any country, where would it be? Um, probably have to say the UK. Um, I believe either the UK or Australia. Mainly because I, I've, I really like the people that I've met online that are from there. And, uh, they just tend to be more secular, of a secular nation. Um, Cloak's a boy. Who's your favorite painter? Sandro Botticelli. Selly, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, he's the one that did, um, The Birth of Venus, which is my favorite painting of all time. I also like Alex Gray, who is known for his work on the cover of 10,000 Days by Tool. Um, and my favorite painting by him is Despair. I'll leave links in the description for the two paintings that I just mentioned. Um, Defense W, do you play or have you ever wanted to learn a musical instrument? I don't really play any instruments. I can fiddle around on the guitar because I can um, read tabs. I did try to learn it one time, but I just got really, really frustrated and I don't have really have a lot of self-discipline um, and I can fiddle around on the piano because I can read sheet music I can read music so yeah the ASS what is your favorite flavor um, there's not too many flavors that I don't like um, I like citrus flavors pineapple orange banana uh, you know all really Leo rules all. You ever see that Outer Limits episode, The Architects of Fear? If yes, what did you think of it? If not, you should see it. It's pretty badass for being dated. I've never seen that episode, but I did watch Outer Limits. Um, Peeping Clown asks, Do you believe the official version of 9-11 or do you have your doubts? I have my doubts. But I don't tend to go with the conspiracy theories because I believe the truth somewhere is somewhere in the middle. Um, and I'm just skeptical that the government didn't know some knew, knew about some of the things that were going on beforehand. Um, so yeah, it's Bizbuzz ask in only one word each. What can you say about Venom Thing X cunt? Jeff, I'm assuming you're talking about yoke up and not Azrianok. Um, bully. Caroline Dyke, full time brilliant, Coughlin hilarious, the amazing atheist Cartman, honest voice, talented, Avi smart, Jesus freak, compassionate, it's this buzz, cool. Abby Buddha, red pill or the blue pill? I'm assuming this is a matrix reference and I'm gonna have to say red pill. Seriano 6, when I first saw this question, this is this is the answer that I came up with. Superpower, what would it be? Jesus power. Because, you know, I want to walk on water and heal the sick and raise people from the dead. Raise myself from the dead. Um, Slaughter 187, I'm interested to find out what you think of marriage. Would you mar marry someone you fell in love with or do you see it as a useless piece of paper? or any other kind of view. Um, I don't see it in the conventional um, view that most people have uh, that you that, or let me say this, the, the pressure that society puts on us to get married. I don't necessarily uh, it kind of is a useless piece of paper but I do understand that you know, there might be, there might come a time in my life where I would need to get married, like insurance benefits or something like that. 
um, if I was with somebody for a long time, you know, it wouldn't wouldn't make it would make sense if you were with somebody for a long time to get married for the tax stuff and you know bank accounts and things like that. Um, but me being the independent person that I am, I don't know that I'll ever get married. Um, but yeah, I hope that answered your question. Grumpy Chuck, fish or meat? I'm going to have to say meat. I do enjoy fish, though, and other sea urchins. Alphalux, he asked me two questions. That's my good friend, Ryan. What's up? Um, which one? The chicken or the egg? I'm going to have to say the retarded fish frog, baby. Pick two well-known people, not personal acquaintance, one male and one female, who have influenced how you view the world and affected your role within it. I'm going to have to say James Maynard Keenan and Betty Page. Jack Luck 4. If today was your last day on Earth, what would your last meal be? It would definitely be me going to a super buffet where it had all different types of food because I like so many different types of food and I'd want to eat it, savor it all, you know, right, you know, if I knew it was my last day. So I could just have everything that I wanted. Okay, last question. On this voice, ask, who would you rather share a cell with? Hannibal Lecter or the Joker? Well, I definitely would not want to be stuck in a cell with Hannibal Lecter because he might end up eating me. So I'm going to have to say the Joker, mainly because I think it would be interesting to have a conversation with the Joker, even though that dude's pretty batshit crazy himself. So that's it. Thank you all for asking questions and good night.